In this video, I want to talk to you about tied ranks. So here we've got two judges, Judge A and Judge B. Uh, they've been judging a talent contest, and uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven contestants, and they've ranked them out of 20. Okay, so Judge A, let's start ranking their data. Uh, their scores. So uh, let's go with 15 as the highest. So we'll go from the highest to the lowest. So 15 is the highest, so that gets rank 1. Then we've got 14, which will be second place there. Then we've got the 12, which is going to be third. Then we've got the 9, which is going to be fourth. And then we've got these two. They both have been given the same score. So do they both get 5? Okay, so what I want you to think about here is that if you have two people who got exactly the same score, I want you to imagine that they got slightly different scores. Okay, so one of them would have got fifth position and one of them would have got sixth position. So just imagine that they got subtly different scores. And what you do is you average those scores. So rather than giving one five and one six, or giving them both five, what we do is we give them both 5.5. The average of the two, like that. So that deals with fifth and sixth position, and so three comes in seventh. Now let's take a look at Judge B. So, Judge B has ranked three people with the highest score of 17. So that is first, second, and third, if you imagine that they got slightly different scores each. So that would be first, second, and third. So what we do is we find the average of the three scores. Okay, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, divided by 3 is 2. So those three people get 2 as their ranking. So that counts for first, second, and third. So the 15 here would now get fourth position. Then we would have the 8 in fifth position, the 7 in sixth position, and then the 2 in seventh position. Okay, and so that is how you deal with tied ranks.